Paul, this last week, of course, we had the tornadoes we've been talking about, the earthquakes. You lived out in California for quite a while. What's your take on everything that's been happening? Well, it's been an exciting week in Oklahoma. Earthquakes are not real common uh, around here, but it's something that uh, I've got some experience having lived close to half my life in California near the San Andreas Fault. And uh, as an agricultural engineer, um, earthquakes are something we need to be concerned uh, about with regard to buildings and structures. And um, there are just certain things that you need to look at after an earthquake to look for damage and, uh, and precautions to take uh, for potential future earthquakes. Let's begin by looking at brick and, and some of the things that people can look for as they're just checking out to see if there's anything. Okay, well, brick is pretty easy to, uh, to observe damage in because you will get sometimes cracks through the mortar joints as the earth is shifted and the foundation is shifted. In more significant, significant cases, you may get cracks right through the bricks themselves. Here in Oklahoma, we probably don't design very many buildings to withstand earthquake loads. Uh, you may also see cracks inside the house in uh, the sheetrock or drywall, especially at corners of doorways uh, or uh, uh, places where large areas of sheetrock come together, like large ceiling areas. And let's talk about the chimney. This chimney obviously has siding on it, but there could be some issues with the bricks. We've seen some of the, the places on the news where they were closer to the epicenter where those chimneys just crumbled completely. That's right. Most uh, older houses have masonry or brick chimneys that are not reinforced, and so the movement and the swaying causes those uh, mortar joints to crack and fail, and in some cases the whole chimney will topple over. This is a, uh, a better design of a chimney for earthquake areas uh, because it is not a brick chimney and uh, doesn't have the, the risk of failure. Let's go ahead and take a look at a metal structure okay. and, and talk about that. Well, metal buildings such as this shop building or metal garage buildings are usually pretty tolerant of uh, earthquakes. They have quite a bit of flex uh, uh, to them, and so earthquakes usually uh, aren't a big problem for buildings like this. One area of concern is a large opening like this door. There are not structural supports in here, so a lot of the load is carried by the corner. So one of the things you'd want to go in is just go inside and double check the, the, the post and the other uh, structural members in there to make sure there's no damage or nothing is pulled loose. But really, by and large, most buildings like this uh, uh, can withstand earthquakes uh, pretty well. Well, now we're going to take a look at this wooden structure here. And wood buildings are very similar to metal buildings in their uh, ability to flex and deal with the motion and vibration of earthquakes. One of the issues with wood buildings is what is their foundation? How are they uh, sitting on the ground? Are they uh, just piled on some cinder blocks? Uh, is it bolted to a slab? Uh, this uh, storage building is on wooden skids, so it would be able to flex and shift as the ground moved. Uh, wooden homes are usually bolted onto a slab or onto a foundation wall, and so that's one of the issues that, uh, with wooden structures, uh, how do they uh, stay put? And if you're not bolted down, then you will move. And one of the issues, uh, like this building, it would move quite a bit because it's on the wooden uh, skids. But if there are plumbing lines coming into it, it could uh, damage or break the plumbing lines. Uh, uh, sewage uh, lines going to the sewer or septic tank, if you all of a sudden start to see a new wet spot outside your house, you might want to be concerned. Look into that. Same with the water lines going into your home. Uh, probably one of the biggest dangers are natural gas lines and propane lines going into the house. Some things like cracks you'll probably see uh, relatively soon, maybe even just immediately afterwards. Uh, water leaks you might not see for days and days uh, 
wet spots out on the grass. Uh, uh, gas odors you probably would smell relatively soon, so you want to be uh, on the lookout for uh, propane or natural gas smells. Okay, some good things to keep in mind in the event of another earthquake, and uh, hopefully our next week will be a little bit quieter. We hope so. Okay. Thank you. Paul Weckler, thanks a lot.